Hey everyone, welcome back for another episode of Rapid Bytes. And today we're going to take a look at how to create a customer. And with me again today is Kyle. Hey, Kyle. Hey, Drew. Glad yeah. to be here. Great. Glad to have you here. Um, and before we do get started, I'd like to ask that you do check out our developer community. It's community.rapid.net. You can find all sorts of information about the Rapid APIs, fintech, startups, anything that kind of deals with the global fintech space. Uh, so be sure and join the community, uh, post a topic, review our topics, ask questions. Uh, we'd love to have you. Um, and after the video, please be sure and check out the description below. Um, there will be timestamps of relevant information that Kyle's going to be talking about today during his demo. And then also uh, links to our docs, our community, um, our use cases and guides, API reference, and our client portal, where you'll get your API keys in order to make the magic happen. So that said, I'm going to stop and hand it over to Kyle and let him give us a demo of how to create a customer. Thanks, Drew. And if you haven't yet, uh, be sure to check out our first video, Make Your First API Call. You'll learn where to get started in Client Portal and how to download the Postman collection and, and begin working in Postman, testing the API. And so that's actually hosted on our first API call page here. I'm going to switch over to our reference guide. And I'm going to look at, this is our customer object section which has all the fields and uh, descriptions for the um, uh, uh, object, uh, basically, uh, fields for um, the different variables. And then the, we have our create customer um, API call right here. And this has the different body parameters and descriptions uh, for the payload that will help you um, and, and look at that. And so I will switch over to Postman. And here we have uh, the create customer payment method API call. I just have the contact information here. I have the e-wallet ID that I got from the create wallet API call, which is in one of our last videos. You'll make sure to want to pass that over. It starts with uh, E wallet underscore. So that's our wallet ID. And then the, for the payment method, I have a Singaporean credit card, SG debit visa card, and then the required fields down below also, which is required, uh, which you'll want to take note is the complete payment URL as well as the error payment URL. I just have both the same URL set rapid.net, uh, but you'll be able to set those and the customer will see that depending on if it's a complete uh, transaction is complete or if there is an error. Uh, and then lastly, our endpoint uses the uh, base URI, uh, which is set in the variables here uh, in the environment. Um, uh, but uh, the URLs on the document uh, on our documentation will have the full uh, link there. Um, but as you're working in Postman, this is already here for you, the uniform uh, resource identifier. So uh, I'm just going to click send. Uh, there we go. And then we have a successful call. Here is the customer ID starting with COS underscore. Um, and then the contact name, uh, the username, as well as here we have the payment method type already on the user. And so we'll actually be able to take a look at that later in client portal. I'm going to switch over to uh, create customer without payment method. And so here we have, um, actually, I'm going to create uh, a different name for this. Um, and this is actually the new uh, response. And so CUS uh, underscore 496, I'll grab that um, as well. And then head over to and paste this in here. And as you can see, we have a payment method that we're adding uh, for Amy Smith 
she did not have a payment method in the beginning. Um, there is no payment method added here in the response. So I'm going to send that. Um, and nice. that's a success. And so here we have the customer ID as well as now the payment method type um, and the ID for that card. And here is also the add payment method to customer ID object um, API call. Uh, actually, this is the API call uh, with the parameters. And then if you scroll up, um, has the payment method object uh, with the fields in it. Heading over to now client portal, uh, I'm going to go to collect customers. And here we have our uh, all of our generic names, uh, but here we, today we created uh, John Smith. Uh, and then this is the card that we created um, as well as Amy Smith and the card that we that we added as well. Um, and so we could see these customers here. Um, uh, and there we go. Uh, so today we learned how to uh, create a customer with a payment method and also create a customer and then add a payment method to that. And you can continually add, uh, of course, as many payment methods to that customer. Nice, thanks, Kyle. Thanks, Drew. Um, so just to close things out here, uh, great demo by Kyle there. If you have any questions, uh, Rapid Payments is our Twitter handle. Do hashtag Rapid Bytes. Kyle and I hang out there so you can ask questions if you have about our APIs or our documentation or our community. Uh, we also have docs.rapid.net. Uh, that's where you can find a lot of the information that Kyle went over in terms of how to activate your account, how to uh, create your account, the client portal, get your sandbox keys, download the Postman collection. Uh, and then again, just to reiterate, community.rapid.net. Community is kind of where it's all at. Uh, ask your questions, you know, answer questions, uh, really uh, get a feel for what it is to be a global fintech and uh, creating applications with the Rapid APIs. So thanks again, Kyle. That was really great. Uh, and I look forward to just doing the next video together.